All right, we've looked at solving equations that dealt with adding and subtracting. So let's look at some that deal with multiplying and dividing. So we've got 5 times n. Remember that when you see a number, which we call a coefficient, next to a variable, that's an, that operation is multiplication. So uh, be careful. Remember that another way that we can show multiplication is with a dot. All right, but this means 5 times n equals 20. Well, we know that the opposite then of multiplying is dividing. Now we can show division like this. We can make a fraction bar. So this is divided by 5. This is divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 1 times m is m. So we can pull down our m, and then 20 divided by 5 would give us 4. And again, we're going to go ahead and check this. Is 5 times 4 equal to 20? And because we know our multiplication tables, we know that that is true. 20 is equal to 20. All right, now look at this next problem. It's the same thing. You just see that the variable has been switched to the right side of the equal sign. No problems there. Remember, we're just going to do the opposite of the operation that is happening to the variable. And so because we're multiplying this 4 times the variable h, we're going to do the opposite and divide both sides by 4. And so we've got 4h divided by 4. 4 divides by 4 once, and once times eight, 1 times h is h, so we pull down our h, and then 100 divided by 4 gives us 25. So now we'll check that. Is 100 equal to 4 times 25? And we know that that is true, that 4 25s is 100. Okay, so let's look at a couple of division problems here. So we have n divided by 8 equals 91. Now we know that the opposite of division is multiplication. And then just a reminder that when we see a fraction bar, that is a division problem. So we've got n divided by 8 equals 91. The opposite of that is multiplying by 8. So we're going to multiply both sides by 8. When we do that, these two eliminate each other, and we pull down that n, and then we do 91 times 8 which 1 times 8 is 8, and 9 times 8 is 72. So our answer is 728. Now we would go ahead and check that. We would take our 728 and substitute it in where n was in the original problem, divided by 8 equals 91. And if we did that long division, I would do that like this. I would take my 728 and I would divide it by 8. 8 divides into 7, not at all. 8 divides into 72, 9 times. Do my subtraction, bring down my 8, and 8 divides into 8 one time. And out of space there, so you have to trust me that that would work out to a 0, but you can see that for yourself. Okay, so again, a little switcheroo here. We've got the variable with the division on the opposite side, but again, not a problem. We're just going to do the opposite of what's happening to the variable. So here we see that 50 equals, um, I don't know, k over 4 it looks like. That's a tiny little variable there. Uh, so we are going to do the opposite of that, and we are going to multiply both sides by 4. These 4s cancel each other out, and I'll say that that's a k equals 4 times 50, and so 4 times 5 is 20. And add my 0 on, 4 times 50 would be 200. And then again, I would go ahead and I would check my answer. Is 50 equal to 200 divided by 4? And so if I divided 4 into 200, I would surely get 50. And so we know that we've done that right. Okay, guys, now you're going to go on and you're going to do some practice with solving one-step equations. But I want to remind you back here on the notes page that there are extra resources for you. So if you need another video that explains how to solve one-step equations, there are some options for you here. It's always good to hear um, instructions or um, how to do something from more than one source. And so these are for your um, viewing if you need them or if you want to get your skills reinforced.